Uh, sometimes games go like that a little bit. You know, I didn't, uh, I didn't think our first half was outstanding. I thought they were a little better than us in the first half. Uh, didn't think, you know, from my angle, didn't necessarily think it was a PK. Uh, I thought it was sort of, uh, you know, sort of what they say in basketball when you, uh, when you initiate the contact kind of thing. And, uh, you know, I thought in the second half we were better. Um, I thought we created, obviously, more chances in the second half. Uh, Bush comes up with a big save on that one shot, um, you know, and it just wouldn't fall for us today. Coach, what were you aware of uh, Hurtado's injury? He came in at halftime, said he felt a little sore, but felt he could go. Uh, so what the medical staff said was that, you know, he should be able to go, but we should have somebody ready in case it, you know, in case he feels he can't go as he gets into the half. And when he started jogging on the field for the second half, uh, he said he couldn't go at all. So, uh, you know, it's a... It was difficult for Jeff Park because he really didn't have an appropriate warm up, you know. But uh, I thought he did all right. He came in and did all right. How do you think your team responded to the decision? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think we responded uh, well in terms of, uh, um, you know, I, I think what resulted in the PK was us reacting to getting hit before the PK. You know, so there was, uh, you know, contact made by, I think, Lennart before. And so, you know, it was, it was a little bit of, okay, I'll show you. I can I can stand my ground, too. Uh, but, I, you know, I thought our reaction, I mean, I don't know what you mean by reaction. I thought our reaction was, okay, we tried to come out and play soccer and score a goal. I mean, uh, you know, and I thought we put pressure on him in the second half. Yeah. You had certainly told us during the week that you had told, reminded your players what a, what a pain and what a pesky player Lennart could be. Yeah, I might have. I mean, you know, when you look at their two big forwards, Lenhart and uh, and Gordon, they committed seven fouls between the two of them. You know, that's that's a ton of fouls. You know, to commit, you know, out of that one position. But uh, you know, it. Uh, you know, for the most part, I thought we handled it fairly well. Uh, you know, but uh, obviously, obviously, they got the better of us in that particular circumstance. Alex Kasky seemed to be a bright spot for you late in the game. You thought about his MOS debut. Yeah, I thought Alex did well, you know, for his first game out there. And, uh, you know, he didn't show any nerves. He was composed on the ball, uh, you know, sent over a good cross, connected. And uh, I thought he helped us uh, helped us create some pressure, uh, you know, and, and, and increase the pressure we were putting on him. How do you feel like we talked a lot about depth on this team. How do you feel like you guys kind of some the Servando and some of the other guys that yeah, I mean, uh, again, I think our depth's okay. You know, I mean, you know, we obviously, uh, you know, when you're looking at it, Siva Beck played instead of Rosales, and you know, you got Sack Scott playing instead of Johansson, and you got uh, you got Servando playing instead of Evans. You know, those are uh, you know, and those three guys are very important to our possession game. Uh, but uh, you know, I, I mean, I thought we were okay. Uh, I didn't think it was a situation where the game was one-sided or that they they dominated the game, you know, over the 90 minutes. So uh, you know, I thought the guys did all right. Starting Steven Beck over Lebec, uh, maybe kind of what it went into that tactical decision. Uh, just we felt that Siva Beck could present more problems to uh, to Corrales on the defensive end of the field because of his speed. And I thought early on in the game, you know, he definitely created some uh, some good situations for us. Um, you know, he's he's in and out of the game a little bit. Uh, you know, so so you have to have to deal with that as well as a team. But uh, I thought offensively, he created some good moments for us. Got in behind, you know, got to the end line, hit some good crosses, uh, and I just thought his his one on one ability. Uh, would help us better than Rogers out there today. Scott and, and Freddie didn't seem to get a lot of room out there. Did, did, what did you think of what they did with what their chances were? Well, you know, I mean, Cronin played deep and sort of played in front of the back too, and I thought their backs did a did a good job of uh, of marking up on them too. But I, I thought it was more us not uh, not holding on to the ball, and uh, maybe you know that was a result of their pressure as well. You know, we talked about it at halftime. We talked about being confident, just possessing the ball in their end of the field. Uh, I think you know there were certain players that had a lot of turnovers in the first half that you don't expect to have those turnovers in the second half. Once that settled down, I thought our possession was much better uh, in their end of the field. And then all of a sudden, you saw Freddie and you saw Estrada get into the game. It looked like Estrada saw a lot more of the ball once he moved out onto the wing. What was the difference there? 
<clears throat> it was just obviously they're going to pack the middle a little bit more as the game goes on, and and there was space out there. You know, I mean, I mean, Siva Beck had seen the ball uh, quite a bit in the first half out there, and and so we know Estrada's fit enough to go 90 minutes, so we moved him outside, and uh, you know, told him to stay a little bit wider. So, you know, them them pinching in a little bit, and and our right wing saw a lot of the ball in the first half as well. It looked like you went to the referee after the game. Were there some issues you wanted to voice at that point? No, I, you know, just thanked him for the game, told him he needed to watch the replay of the PK. Did you think you guys should have gone with Estrada guy? Uh, you know, I, you know, I, I heard Estrada slipped. I mean, I never saw the replay. You know, so the linesman on the side told me that uh, that Estrada slipped, that it wasn't a PK, and I said, okay, fair enough. But then, how can we call that one in the first half? You know, so it's the same thing. I mean, it was, it was the same thing. We picked up a couple of yellow cards on tackles, and and there were tackles that went the other way. You know, like like Zach Scott's tackle. You know, I was upset with that because they gave Zach a yellow card. I wasn't upset. I think it was a yellow card. I think Zach's tackle was was a yellow card tackle, but I was upset because there had been, I think, comp comparable tackles earlier that hadn't been yellow carded. You guys had a little bit more momentum right at the start of the second half. What, did, what was the halftime atmosphere like in the locker room? I mean, it was okay. You know, we always believe we're going to score. Uh, you know, we're a team that's confident in our offensive abilities. And, uh, you know, tonight I thought we created chances. You know, I mean, if we hadn't created anything in the second half, I'd be, I'd be a lot more worried or a lot more disappointed. But we just talked about keeping better possession in their half of the field, uh, you know, making sure that we, uh, that, that we did a better job of making them defend. We felt that we turned the ball over so quickly in the first half that allowed them to counter and their guys really never had to recover and defend. So, so when they lost the ball, we would lose the ball too quickly and they didn't have to chase back and they would be in good positions to attack us again. And so we said, let's hold on to the ball, let's make them defend. And I thought that turned the game for us in the second half. Anything else? Uh, before the PK, it looked like they were trying to, was it Virgin? My heart, my heart was trying to beat him. Did you see that? Did you have a conversation between them? Uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, Stephen's game. And that's what he does all the time. You know, he does that all the time, and, and then afterwards he apologizes. You know, so, so that's his thing.